Welcome to our Digitalized Taxpayers Briefing and Orientation. As we all know, taxes are the lifeblood of any nation. Without it, the government will be paralyzed and unable to carry out its various functions. And just like any other country, the Philippines imposes a variety of taxes including documentary stamp tax which I will be discussing to you today. The documentary stamp tax or DST is a tax upon documents, instruments, loan agreements, and papers evidencing the acceptance, assignment, sale or transfer of an obligation, right or property incident thereto, and in respect of the transaction so had or accomplished. The DST is in the nature of an excise tax. It is levied on the privileges exercised by a person to enter into contracts and or execute any specific instruments. Presently, there are 25 major categories of documents, instruments, or transactions which are taxed at varying rates under sections 174 to 198 of the National Internal Revenue Code or NIRC as amended. The latest amendment was brought about by the signing into law of the Republic Act Number no. 10963, otherwise known as the Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion or train law on January of 2018. Out of the 25 major DST categories, I will be elaborating on the four most common types of DST transactions. These are original shares issuance, leases, debt instruments, and mortgages. For every original issue of shares of stock, by any association, company, or corporation, there shall be collected a DST of 2 pesos for every 200 pesos or fractional part thereof of the par value of such shares of stock. On each lease, contract, or agreement, there shall be collected a DST of 6 pesos for the first 2,000 or fractional part thereof and an additional 2 pesos for each 1,000 or fractional part thereof in excess of the first 2,000 pesos. On every original issue of debt instruments, there shall be collected a DST of 150 for every 200 pesos or fractional part thereof of the issue price of such instrument. On every mortgage, 40 pesos for the first 5,000 or fractional part thereof and an additional of 20 pesos for every 5,000 or fractional part thereof in excess of the first 5,000 pesos. After learning about the rates to be used in the computation of the DST due, it is just right for us to learn more about due dates. Bear in mind, that the deadline for the filing and payment of the DST we have discussed falls due on the fifth day following the close of the month when the taxable document was made, signed, issued, accepted, or transferred. Another thing we have to take note is that whenever one party to the taxable document enjoys exemption from DST, the other party who is not exempt shall be the one directly liable for the tax. As to BIR forms, we have two types of DST forms. First one is the form 2000 which is used for regular DST transactions. Another one is BIR form 2000 OT which is intended for one-time transactions on it. These forms can be accessed at our BIR official website. For more information about DST, you may visit bir.gov.ph, click on the Tax Information button, and select DST. That's all for Documentary Stamp Taxes. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day.